but it's really difficult to find the right treatment. And sometimes clinic offer uh, light therapy, intense light therapy instead of laser, which we don't want. Hello, beautiful people, reporting you from beautiful outset of Warsaw. If you can see the morning jogging before and after the non ablative laser treatment. Uh, as you know, I don't do facials, but this is different because this is uh, uh, it's just normal accumulation of damage which you're gonna take out because uh, our face is out there to take all the beating from the elements and um, this vascular damage accumulates on the face and it doesn't do good to our bodies so as you can see I'm on my uh, morning run so it's very difficult to find the right treatment and sometimes clinic offer uh, light therapy, intense light therapy instead of laser, which we don't want. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I tried that. Uh, obviously, it shouldn't do anything. It's just light. It's intense light treatment. So, uh, you need laser, uh, specifically because laser is going to damage small capillaries. It's going to close small capillaries. It's going to sort of boil the red blood cells in there and they're going to burst and they're going to <laughs> and they're going to close the um, small capillaries which then in, in time um uh, gonna be absorbed by the body and the uh, drainage going to be improved uh, i went to one clinic in uh, vienna and they didn't want to do this because they they said it's uh, uh, allegedly ostensibly it's uh, damaged the uh, supply of the blood and nutrients to the skin which is not true because uh, it can be done by diffusion and by the lymph so lymph is normally uh, takes out and supplies as well the nutrients uh, blood does that as well but uh, when it's in the disease state like um, uh, it's over developed and sometimes to the point of uh, ros rosacea it's not good so we have to take care of that and it might happen even in your younger years in, in your 20s you damage the capillary and it stays there so um, they didn't, didn't want to do that and it cost like 350 euro something like that for small session for just my chick something like that i've been to bucharest bucharest was the best so far and uh, i think it cost like uh, 250 euros so they done it twice I'm now in Warsaw, I don't know how it's going to be, and uh, I've been preparing and uh, avoided sunshine uh, for, for a month or something, and, um, and, uh, and yeah, so we'll see how it goes there. So with the intense light, I did that in Prague. I don't know why they sell it. It's obviously it doesn't work. It might sort of uh, do the opposite. It might uh, invigorate the blood vessel to develop, uh, sort of thing. So what you want? You want green laser. They're uh, different wavelength, but normally they are around 500, um, 500 nanometers, and it can be greenish, cyan, greenish laser so this is the exact uh, wavelengths you want you don't want the broad uh, uh, spectrum of wavelengths because you need specifically that one that targets the red blood cells also it targets the uh, 
melanin in your skin. This is why you don't uh, you don't uh, tan. You you should avoid sun uh, sun before you do this. So essentially, before and after. This is how I look now, and ideally you do this. Um, you do this quite often. I did it like one one year ago. Uh, it, it helps the collagen synthesis. So this is non-ablative. It means it doesn't damage you. It doesn't damage the outer skin. So there is another therapy which is called uh, CO2 laser. So it's kind of a deep scrub that takes out the outer layer of the epidermis and thereby instigating the rejuvenation processes. Uh, which is again, it's a controversial treatment for me, controversial treatment, because if if you don't have enough uh, fatty tissue underneath, you're going to be looking aged and damaged. Um, that happens to people. And then you have to do the uh, fat tissue surgical um, surgical correction which what happened to this Johnson and uh, I don't know how his medic didn't uh, uh, didn't advise him because he's uh, he's extremely dry for no reason you, you cannot be extremely dry for year round fatty tissue is the um, healthy tissue it uh, supplies some uh, hormones like estrogen for example in the right places um, so uh, and it um, participates in the whole body metabolism so yeah so before and after and um, it does reduce your wrinkles if you have any so what I would take before, that would be probably some painkillers. This is a tricky supplement because this is the blood uh, clotting procedure, in a sense. And some painkillers, they prevent blood clotting, such as the ibuprofen. So, but not to that great extent. So. Because it's really painful. Sometimes it's uh, unbearable. I don't know how people do that <laughs> frequently. And um, but I'm gonna take uh, probably four four hundred grams of uh, ibuprofen. And what else? I would take or will have handy some beta blockers, um, which will calm me down specifically the fast acting um, propranolol, propranolol uh, that will reduce the blood uh, pressure and uh, heart rate so you need to have the blood pressure in range before you take that if your blood pressure is like 100 that you wouldn't take that obviously and um, and heart rate is supposed to be like slightly elevated. So I would take it under the tongue uh, just before the procedure, just in case. And uh, I would drink plenty of water uh, so the toxins would be flushed, flushed away. And, um, and yeah, and then after that I would uh, stay indoors during the day, even in such condition like this. I'm wearing actually sunscreen. This is the rare um, instance when I do wear sunscreen and uh, also it's nine o'clock in the morning and I, I just woke up but this is a beautiful morning so again uh, this is the technique I use this uh, called jogging so what I do I just uh, jump up and down essentially mostly I do move forward a little bit but I don't run and this is uh, shakes your skin, your inner organs, everything. It's kind of subtle, uh, gentle massage of your organs, of your skin, and it uh, ups your tone, ups your tone of the skin. So what I do, I would um, 
<clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> I would uh, mostly, I was mostly, um, go. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, hello beautiful people, so just tricking like this, I'm moving forward, and like, yeah, essentially, and I, I jump on my, on my toes, not on my heels, so this is how I jump. This is how we do it. So essentially you can feel it. You, your skin goes up and down. And it... Oh, and... Some, some people would, can do it at home. So instead of running in the park, if they have limited amount of time, Oh, they're not ready. Oh, this raining, it's raining. So you just stay at home and jump on and down, up and down. I mean, even 15 minutes in the morning, it uh, spurs up your metabolism and gives you the benefit of increased metabolism for little investment. So do you, you do like this? I used to, I used to dance to music in the morning. Hello, beautiful people. Hey. Yeah, and it looks like this. So, have a blessed day from me and from this beautiful settings of Warsaw.